great game on the menu tonight, folks, between the Florida State Seminoles and the Virginia Tech Hokies. Number 23 is a player who has an impact on the outcome of most games. This youngster is an offensive machine. He's got a nice jumper and isn't afraid to go hard to the rack. The Hokies will have quite a challenge on their hands trying to keep him in check. The Hokies are prepared to fight tooth and nail in this one, Dick. What are the keys to victory? If I'm their coach, the keys would be these. First, the point guard has to take control of the game, and he has to dictate the tempo and the pace. Second of all, hey, disrupt the rhythm of their outside shooters. Don't let them just catch the ball and shoot. Get right up on them. Lastly, reward your big man for working hard down low. Get him the ball, baby. If he has position, get the rock to him immediately. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Thinks about the shot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. The shooting guard receives the pass. Sinks it. Both teams looking to get things going here. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. The Seminoles have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Moving it around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. Basket falls despite the contact. to go inside and they do they got it on the low block jump hook from the low post I tell you waste any time he got the ball in the right position and then what it does it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn Paul receives the ball uh, poor job poor job offensively I'm coaching he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? Trying to feed the low block. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Lewis is feeling good. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. Cardi, pump fakes. With a jump hook. He can't miss. Teddy Shep man's feeling it, Brad. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dump it inside. Looking for the foul. Got it. Looking for a good shot. On the inside, he draws a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Down inside. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. The power forward handles the pass. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. For the bucket, perfectly executed. They'll work it around the arc. They go into the low block. Double team now, bad angle. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Sets the screen for his teammate. There was no doubt about that one. Now 
trying to feed the low block. Intercepted. Lewis handles the feed. Set that screen away. And the ball goes out of play. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Gave it up and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. There he is, strips the ball loose. He hammers it home. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA, Aaron Andrews, checking in from the sideline. He wants a three. The Seminoles have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Momentary look from three-point land. Takes the pass in the paint. Turnover City now will always really negate any offense. He brought the ball back down. The floor is stripped up. And the slam. Both teams are looking to get something going here. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. He's going to muscle it on the inside. What an explosive move to the goal. No wasted time. He had his mind made up. He was attacking the basket. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover there. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Nice job there by the defense, knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. Here's the screen up on top. On the inside. He goes with a baby hook. Florida State are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Yeah, they're really starting to click on offense. Picks off the lazy pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. Up and in. pass in the paint and they come with a double team to stop it I'll tell you a great shot I don't understand why it's not utilized more often it's so impossible to block that shot they work the perimeter fakes the shot I love that block shot Brad really gives you a lot of momentum Great play to take that to the basket. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. The Rockets fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, Brad. They let him get into a rhythm. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. A uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. And it really converts an offensive transition. 
fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Look at that spacing. From the baseline, Virginia Tech are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Looking for a good shot. Outside jumper. The Seminoles have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Pushes it up. High post flasher is open. Takes the pass in the paint for the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. Let the replay show us the real deal. Stolen away. Fast break opportunity. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And off the mark. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Guys, he seems very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back to you. Thanks, Aaron. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He's got a high post flasher. Now they work it around the perimeter. He launches a three. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. Three seconds in the lane. He's not moving, Brad. Oh, and look at the crowd, and look at the reaction. I think the home fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. Both teams are looking to get something going here. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. The skip pass is picked off. Looking for a good shot. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Boy, terrible execution on offense. On the outside, he intercepts it. High post flashes for two. Florida State is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. They work it around the perimeter. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Way off target. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Got a man in high post. Time to pick up the defense here now. Up it inside. He tries the three. He drains the shot. That's a 13-0 run. Right at the 
screen again. What did I say? Steele, go up the other way, get a layup. Momentary look from three-point land. Unloads. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. There's a high percentage shot. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Good job defensively. High post player flashing. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Picked out of the air. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that ball. What well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. The Seminoles are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. He hits the first. A second. That's a seven nothing run. Routine. They scored eight in a row. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. about ready for play to resume. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So we're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. They're working around the perimeter. Leans in. He rips the net for another score. He's absolutely Four. unconscious. Four. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He puts up the three ball. Off the rim and no good. Up and inside. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Here's a double team. He's going nowhere. Going ball nowhere. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. around the perimeter wide open for the shot he looks for the bomb that's an ill-advised shot hey a few more of those he may wind up on a bench gave it up top of the circle they work it around the perimeter goes up for two they still don't score and he'll kick it back outside 
Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stressed during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. On the outside. Looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. He shoots from outside. Scorches the net. Gives it up. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Now the high screen. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestle, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important oh, to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He's got some room. Launches away. Way off target. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice. That layup will count for two, plus the harm. Hey, he sized the defender up and protected the ball, going in for the layup. Boy, was that beautiful. And now he's got a little something for the crowd. They're not going to like this. They're going to be offended. Oh, oh Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no. With the freebie. Makes the foul shot. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Controlling the ball. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. There they are on the low block on the move inside, and the big guy picks up the foul. Hey, Brad, you can't allow a guy to get the ball in that deep, and he does a great job putting it to the deck and attacking the basket. He puts up the tray way off target. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. The fans aren't happy. Nothing to cheer about. The silence says it all. Looking for a good shot. Let's see if they go two for one here, Brad. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Uh, 
On the outside. The ball goes on play. Shot from the baseline. Buried it. Shot clock is dead. Gotta think right now. Gotta focus defensively. Cardi pounded on his way up. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. It's good. Second shot is no good. It's a big shot. He misses from long range. At the end of the first half, the Seminoles are ahead by 34. It has definitely been an interesting first half. Any plays, Dick, in particular that stand out for you? This one's big for me, Brad. The long trifecta. Shots like this can sometimes get a team going in a hurry. Well, let's head back down to the court for the start of the second half. Virginia Tech coughed up the ball way too many times in that first half, Dick. They certainly did, Brad. I've said it a million times. Turnovers kill momentum. I don't see a lot of these kids taking my advice out there. Dick, start of the second half, we take a look at our focused player, and he's going to have to be the man to come through. I think his teammates got to set him up somehow. They got to run some sets to get him free for some good shots. He's typically a good shooter. Yeah, but not tonight. He's got to accept that. Look at that spacing. Goes for the deep one. He knocks down another bucket, Dick. This kid's got skills, Brad. Run it up into transition for the bucket, gets it to fall. For two, great play to take that to the basket. Pass in the paint. And now they'll bring it up. Stolen away. And working around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Working it around the perimeter. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that pass away. Anticipating really well. Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. They work the perimeter. Trying to draw the foul. And he scores despite the hack. On the outside. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid is responding in a positive way. From left of the circle, off the rim, and no good. in front to take it away. They'll work it around the arc. He's got an open look for the shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. 
as we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. Right in the circle, way off target. He puts it in with contact and all. away the pass fronts him first Dick and then works behind yeah he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player and they made an error obviously but they don't have the great respect so they're saying you know what let him get the ball and let him try to beat us Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Got a wide open look. He shoots from the top of the circle. The Hokies have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. That he's on fire. Looking for a good shot. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. He uses the shot fake. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They work it back to the outside. And the ball goes out of play. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. I'd celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. Ten on the shot clock. Gave it up for the bucket. Perfectly executed. He's just not giving the effort on defense. He's not putting up a good fight at all. Tries to get the D to bite. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. For two, in and out. Here's the big man with a drop step. Oh, he does a phenomenal job getting post position, good angle, and then the drop step. Steals a pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumps in, drops the bucket despite the harm. The defender is still applying great blood pressure, Brad. Jumps into the defender. He kept his dribble and used the screen to get the nice look from inside. The ball goes out of bounds. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far. Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. Carson handles the pass. He unloads a three. Gets it to go. Tell you once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket.
fakes the jumper. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. The Seminoles have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. There's the fake. Jump hook from the low block. Can't get the shot to drop. Look at that spacing. There's the trap. From the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Gave it up. And he'll kick it back outside. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR? Hey, where's Mr. Petty? He'd like to get it inside of the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back over to you. Both free throws go. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Way out on top, controlling the ball. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. There's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestle, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. He makes the block. He anticipated a pass well. Double team now, bad angle. He takes it away. Looking for a screen on top and got it. He gets it to fall. Picks off the pass. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Pushing that basketball. Two, perfectly executed. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Puts it up, looking for contact. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Trying to draw some contact. Contact causes the shot to come off. Picks off the lazy pass. Good fake. Looking for the foul. We have definitely got a blowout here, Dick. I must say, I'm a little surprised at how this one's turning out. I definitely didn't expect this. Takes the pass in the paint. There they come with a double team to stop it. He comes away with it. Goes up for two. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. Tries for two. I love this guy, Hawk. He cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? Leans in. Great play to take that to the basket. Oh, I love this guy. I love him. around the 
perimeter. There's a double team waiting there. Basket falls despite the contact. They're going to move it around the perimeter. Dumps it in. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. From right in the circle. There's a three and it goes. What a big time shot. Top of the circle. He's money with the shot. He shoots from the top of the key. He gets the bucket. The Hokies are down by 44. From the top of the circle. He made good use of the screen, but the shot fell off. Up and inside. He strips him clean. They work the perimeter. On the outside. On the outside. A high screen. Rejects it. Working around the perimeter. He bombs from outside. Questionable shot selection there. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? can't miss free throws, Dick. It's going to kill you somewhere down the line. Well, you got to convert. That's the one thing like football special situations. You got to be able to execute there. It's the second. He shoots from the top of the key. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. He intercepts it. He takes the shot. Way off target. Picked off. Carson. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's one you take for the team, Brad. He has one shot. the pass in the paint. Here's a double team. He throws it up from downtown. I don't think that's the guy they want shooting that shot. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nessler. Horrible shot selection. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. They move it into the front court. He fires it up. Off the rim and no good. But easy one. The Seminoles have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Up fake. Coach looks on. 
focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. Down low, there's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. Looking for a good shot. Looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. There's a whistle and a foul on the inside. What a great job of putting the ball to the floor and attacking the basket, taking advantage of a slow post play. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few on your team and are active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. Great play to take that to the basket. Momentary look from three-point land. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Now they work it around the perimeter. He rejects it. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And he throws it right away. Great steal. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. Intercepted. Side. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. They're working around the perimeter. For the bucket. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from right of the circle, way off target. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Shot clock is dead. Work it around the arc. On the inside. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. He couldn't get it to fall. 
Our focus player update, our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I tell you one thing, he was sensational. He made all big shots. He really wanted the ball. I thought he was very aggressive offensively. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. Virginia Tech loses this game in a mocking fashion.